This week on At Your Leisure, we are headed back in time with our friends Gina and Kevin as we try out the mountain man lifestyle at the Mountain Man Rendezvous at Fremont Indian State Park. Then we're up for a real diamond in the rough as we get a chance to visit the Crystal Ball Cave at the Bates Family Ranch. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. Finally, Restein takes us to a unique pool just outside of St. George that flows from the mountainside. It's all headed your way now. At Your Leisure is next. So you look like you've been here before. Yeah. What's the best thing on the menu? Birch beer. The birch beer? <laughs> That's what we're getting. Hi everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth, and we are with the Mortensons today, Gina and Kevin. And you've probably seen these guys before. They're uh, all over the state of Utah. They recreate more than we do. We try. Yeah. <laughs> you have seen them on the show in the past. Yes. And we found out how much fun they were that you're probably going to be seeing a lot more of them in the future. Because Man, have, I'm looking forward to it. You yep. have every toy under the sun. Yep. And you recreate with your kids, which is so cool. Yeah. We are, we are at the Mountain Man Rendezvous, yeah. which is down uh, at the Fremont Indian State Park on a place called Rendezvous Flats. So obviously this stuff happens from time to time down here. And uh, this is in their back of the, uh, you know, backyard down here in Richfield. Uh, what do people need to know about this area, Kevin? Well, you know, there's a little bit of everything. What can't you do? I, the opportunity to show the world what this area has to offer is, is one you can't pass up, really. You got camping within minutes. You got hiking. We can take off from our house and go hiking. I can ride a four wheeler from my driveway and hit 500 miles of trails. There's not anything you can't do in central Utah. And really, we're looking forward to showing you around and, and letting you see what's here. Well, let's start with some birch beer. I, I've right. run into these guys before down in Kanab at another event, and they actually have pretty cool stuff and some old fashioned bottles that you can buy which I think I still have a yeah. refill. I want this one. Well, you already, you already got the well, bag. I'll just, I'll just fill it up like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Share it with Gina. Here. Absolutely. Gina. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, well, I think you need to see a little bit of what this area is like and what a mountain man rendezvous really means. Let's go meet some mountain men and women. I'm a trader. Uh, we're on Trader's Row, and I sell beads, old, ancient, trade-era beads. It was a very rough life. They were very solitaire. They lived and trapped beaver. Once the uh, United States bought the West, we didn't know what we had, so they sent people out to explore it. Mountain men took from the earth. They took their beaver skins for trade, deer skins for trade. Uh, anything that they would produce from the earth, we consider money. Once a year, they'd go to rendezvous. And then you would trade your money for things that you needed for the rest of the year to go back out and make your living. You always broke your tools. Tools got broke, your traps, your knives. And the blacksmith was the center point of the rendezvous. And you would go have the blacksmith uh, fix your horseshoes, your mule shoes, fix your knife. Uh, the blacksmith was very important. It was the center of the rendezvous. No, Hold just, it up. just Kevin, give me your foot. Beautiful, just there you go. Okay, I, I think I got it. I did. Oh my gosh, Chad, <laughs> it's on four. Fits perfect. Woohoo! Check it out. Now we have to buy it because we won't be able to get it off. Now all I gotta do is put some, uh, put a saddle on top of it with some reins. Let's go. <laughs> oh, and that's what the <laughs> Which leads us right into the I frog leg I think I'm going to kill the guy. <laughs> Which segues right into the frog leg. Hey, here. yeah, what is up with this little fellow? It's called a frog leg. It was attached to the Cheyenne belt. It's made out of frogs? No, it's made out of buffalo. That's a big frog. And as an Indian, <laughs> if it wasn't attached to you, then it wasn't yours. So they would attach this to their belt, and then they could hang beads or mm -hmm. hair or whatever yeah. memento of love they wanted. Right, yeah. Memento really of love. Cool. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Scalps? We need to get yeah. you one. Scalps? We're going to get you one of these, Gina. <laughs> you should walk around with this hanging from the back of your head. He's beautiful. 
That is, these are hey, incredible she pieces. She can always go into the studio and say, don't mess with me. I've had a mountain man laugh. <laughs> right. She's, and then, she's and got then a then couple if, scouts laying around. As Kevin gets out of hand, she just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Before this gets too far out of hand, we've got to go to our where to adventure. Bring this back down to earth. Utah's West Desert. It's a vast area of unique landscape that appears to be mostly barren desert. To those who have never visited, it may look as though there's not much out here. But for anyone looking to find a hidden gem, look no further than Spring Mountain just outside of Gandhi, Utah. In the middle of the hot desert, Spring Mountain hosts a small oasis at the Gandhi Warm Springs and a truly one-of-a-kind tour at the Crystal Ball Cave, which was discovered by the Bates family. It was discovered in 1956 by my uncle, George Sims, and he lived right here where we are now. And he had a little bunch of sheep and they went up on the mountain and he went up to look for them and found the cave. The Crystal Ball Cave features rock formations covered in calcite crystal, which were formed by the water that once flowed through here. Leftover moisture would then drip from the ceiling and fall to the floor, creating formations known as stalactites and stalagmites. Right here we have stalactites. Straight down below are stalagmites. I always say a stalactite clings tight to the ceiling. A stalagmite you might trip over. The cave is filled with an array of formations, including cave popcorn, dog tooth spar, and a giant birthday cake looking formation, and even fossilized bones. But one of the most unique properties is how the crystal illuminates at the touch of a light. This is about the best one that I show people on that illuminates this entire bulb to see that crystal there. And although Travis requests that you not touch any of the growing formations in the cave, he does allow one volunteer the opportunity to show the group some of the cave's more acoustic properties. Okay. Slap it good. Oh, you, can hear it. you hear that? Want to do it again? Yeah. Nice. Has a pretty good resonation, huh? In addition to the Crystal Ball Cave, many families enjoy camping at the Bates Family Ranch and visiting the nearby Warm Spring and Slot Canyon. So right now we're at the base of Spring Mountain. There's this bridge we can jump off, I like that. And then there's also this the rushing water with a rope you can grab onto. We rode the leaders to Devil's Gate Slot Canyon when we also went to Crystal Ball Cave. I always want to go in there the first time we get there. Like, straight when we get there, I think about that cave. And I want to hike through this salt canyon and shoot my BB gun. It's really special to me when, <laughs> when Dad tells me we're going camping, I automatically think the West Desert because it's definitely one of my favorite places to camp. We've been incredibly impressed. The people, the the food, the, uh, the family atmosphere, and, and the trails. With so much to do in such close range to the Bates Family Ranch, it's a perfect base of operations for a fun weekend at Spring Mountain. We had a lot of people come to the cave and they would stop down there in the orchard. Why don't you have a campground here? Because uh, we're in the middle of nowhere. And no, you really need a campground here. Okay, so let's just try it out. We put in those three little rustic cabins and they started booking all the time. Anytime we can get out of the dust, we really appreciate it. And this area here, so green and grassy, it's like an oasis out in the middle of the desert here. It's, it's really uh, spectacular. We have five cabins right now that's got uh, two lofts, uh, one up above the main room and then one up above the porch area. Next time you're looking for a truly secluded vacation, be sure to come check out this little oasis in the desert at the Bates Family Ranch, which just happens to be at the base of Spring Mountain. You can find us on Facebook, either at Bates Family Ranch or Crystal Ball Cave. You can also go to BatesFamilyRanch.com or CrystalBallCave.com or call us at 801-787-6675. For At Your Leisure, at a literal diamond in the rough known as the Crystal Ball Cave, I'm Joe Davis. What is it that gets us out here to the middle of nowhere? What makes us choose the sweltering heat instead of our air-conditioned homes and swimming pools? Usually, it's just some friendly trash talk. and we wouldn't have it any other way.
There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night. In the basin with the youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. You have the right machine, the best tires, and top of the line gear to make it over the top and beyond. Make sure that you have the best fuel money can buy too. Clear 91 ethanol free from Eagles Landing, specially formulated for today's high performance off road engines. It's gas strong enough to stand up to any challenge and any warranty. Clear 91 protects your internal engine parts and keeps you years longer than ethanol blends. So go out of your way to stock up on Clear 91 ethanol free at Eagles Landing with four locations along I-15. This week's What's New segment is brought to you by Tunex. More than just tune-ups, on a hot summer's day, we are air conditioning. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. It's product review time. We're down here at Paris RV. Today we are looking at the Rockwood G16TH, reasonably priced, and it also is reasonable weight. It's just a little under, just a smidge under 2,500 pounds dry weight. Before we go in, I want to start pointing to some of the clues that will tell you that this is an exceptionally high-end little motorhome. Keyless entry, so they've got upgraded locks on it. Also notice, there is a Wi-Fi booster and router on this unit, so you can give the whole campground access if you want. Let's go inside. On the way in here, we came in on this new upgraded aluminum steps. They're uh, durable, they hit the ground, and that makes egress and ingress really simple. Now, isn't this cute? Light colors, because it's small. It's got air conditioning, it's got a furnace. It's got a full galley here, it's got a microwave, it's got a stove, three burner propane, and a kitchen sink. Now, up front is a bathroom, and they did manage in this very small space to give you a shower and a toilet. Back here in the toy hauler end of it, you've got face-to-face -face seating with a long table. So, uh, and this is where your bed comes in. It converts into your bed here. Got a drop-down tailgate to get your toys inside, be it what they may, whether it be mountain bikes or kayaks or an ATV, it'll fit one in here, uh, or dirt bikes. This is a great way to haul those uh, younger rigs, uh, younger toys for people in this rig. And then, of course, it has a snap-in screen over the door so that you can open up the outside space and make it feel a little more airy inside. On the wall, you have what looks like just a plain old TV set, but it actually is a swivel-mounted entertainment center. It has a DVD player on it. It has hookups for other uh, inputs, and uh, it runs on 12 volts. So you can be out in the outback running off your inverter, or you can be running off your battery, be just fine. I'll see you back outside. Okay, to me, camping is an outdoor activity, okay? And they provide that here because as small as this is, it's got a little outdoor kitchen, it even comes with a Coleman uh, stove. You set right on this platform to do your outdoor cooking. You can bring your table from the inside, outside, this independent sits on table legs. Now, one last thing to mention before we go, if you're looking to get in that outback country because you want to go places that no man has gone before, well, they put the James T. Kirk suspension on this. They have a lift kit and knobby off-road tires so that you can hook this up to your favorite crossover, um, SUV, smaller size, and get to the place you want to be with all the toys you want to have. That's it for our product review today. If you're of a mind to do a little kayak and camp and boarding, motorcycling or an ATV ride, and you're on a budget, go check this out. Paris RV, 40th South End State.
Hi, I'm Nolan Stedman. And I'm Bruce Stedman. We have been selling motorcycles like this since 1960. Motorcycle has been part of our family forever. We love riding and enjoying the outdoors, everything that Utah has to offer. Riding motorcycles, snowmobiles, ATVs, and now side-by-sides. That's what we do, it's who we are. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. We've been proudly serving Utah's families for over 50 years. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out there, but remember, it's only 30 back. Give us the work no one else wants to do. We don't just go against the grain, we grow it. Give us the frontiers, the places where success is measured and pushed limits. Give us the middle of nowhere, where the only map is your buddy's tread marks. This life, no one's born ready for it. And we will see you next week on the county seat. What are these rocks? Well, what is what that is called coke, and it looks a lot like coal. Coal. And that's kind of made from charcoal, right? Right. That helps stuff get hot. Yeah. Okay. Hey, welcome back to At Your Leisure. <laughs> We're getting pretty smart about the uh, the old ways and how mountain men used to uh, survive. And uh, one of them, obviously, is keeping Gina's hands warm. <laughs> hey, we right? should get Very your kids important. out here. Can yeah. you imagine your kids doing this all day long? Kids, kids, this is what you're gonna do. Keeps you out of trouble. So what we did learn, though, is that the blacksmith shop was the key and cornerstone of a rendezvous because the trappers had been out all year and they break their knives and their traps needed to be resprung, and it was the blacksmith who was able to do that. So this was like the most important thing for rendezvous yeah. and the most important thing for survival is the forged tools. You don't think that it had anything to do with the fact that he had the biggest hammer? Uh, <laughs> it, might, it might have, I don't know, Kevin. Yeah. You're kind of scaring me right now. Yeah, it's, it's, I like the idea. So Gina, this <laughs> runs in your family, huh? Uh, yes, my grandpa did some blacksmithing. Wow. He did? The old blacksmith shop in Gunnison. Wow. Well, there are a lot of skills that it takes to be a mountain man, and that's one of the great things about the rendezvous, you get a chance to learn and practice. Let's check it out. I like what I <laughs> Hey, nice shot. She missed the hat by two inches. <laughs> now you got a story for that hole. Wow, that's pretty slick. So for throwing a tomahawk, when you hold your arm back, just let it hang down. That way when you swing your arm forward, the rotation of that hawk head coming forward will continue. When you let it slip out of your hand, it will come one full rotation. And it'll rotate exactly and hit where you're... It should if you're throwing well and if you don't use your wrist. On this, remember, don't use your wrist to flip it. Sounds... Just let the weight of the hawk bring okay. your arm forward. Well, sounds super easy. Let's see what you got. Okay. All Ooh, right, like Kevin. That. All right. I <laughs> see. It really is like golf. Yeah. <laughs> you obviously golf more than I do. <laughs> hey, listen. What right now, right now, we are going to take away from here and head off to our along the way. come to most hot spring pools to warm up, but here at Bayo Pool you come to get away from the heat. Lots of shade, we're about 10 to 15 degrees cooler 
up here than uh, it is in St. George, so it's a nice place to get away for the day. Bayo Pool is fed by a natural hot spring flowing from the canyon wall. Temperatures at about 85 degrees, it is a not too hot comfort without any putrid gaseous odors. Tucked at the bottom of a steep basalt canyon carved by the adjacent Santa Clara River, Bayo Pool is the perfect place to cool off on a hot southern Utah summer day. It's really cool. It's really nice and peaceful. The water in the pool is really warm. Uh, it's just a really fun place. It's nice for Vegas right now because the Vegas at Vegas right now, the pool, my pool is so cool and it's nice to just refresh. The warm, you like the warm water? Yeah. I think it's great. It's a nice oasis in the hot desert and the springs are nice. The creek was great. It was a good time. It was unexpected. The boys weren't really thrilled, but when we got here, they had a blast. Local families escaping the heat of St. George summer, as well as visitors from Salt Lake, Las Vegas, and beyond, walk to the resort for the relaxing water and much more. There's camping along the Santa Clara River. We have 31 campsites. We have a pickleball court that is also used as a basketball and volleyball court. We have an amazing grill with delicious food, uh, famous veil pie shakes, and uh, pronto puffs, which are our famous hand-dipped corn dogs. And after lunch, you might be tempted to take on the sheer rock walls that line the pool area and canyon. There are 250 bolted climbs in the solid basalt up to 85 feet high. It's popular with local area climbing cubs. We also got climbers from Poland and Mexico and Canada this year, so the climbing really attracts a lot of um, international people. The Santa Clara River is loaded with these guys. They're fun to catch. The resort sells crawdad catching kits, a bucket, stick with clip and bait, and a net. I like the, the pool and the, the crawdad fishing. That was really fun. The crawdad fishing is catch and release only, but it's still a lot of fun. Swimming, climbing, camping, and crawdads, Bayo Pool is truly a unique southern Utah getaway. It feels like you're in, like in the Caribbean almost, but we're really just in the desert. And while you're in Vail, stop by the famous pie store on Main Street for an after-swim treat. They've been dishing up delicious cream and fruit pies for 30 years. Uh, you might want to call in your pie orders in advance. Reese Stein at your leisure along the way at Vail Warm Springs Pool. Kawasaki Mule side-by-sides are some of the toughest machines around. Work hard or play hard. With the new Mule Pro MX, you don't have to choose. It's about having the right machine to fit the way you live. And it's about strength. The all-new Mule Pro MX. The strongest, because I said so. I promised my son that if he got straight A's, the two of us would take a guy's trip. We were riding on the Lincoln Loop Trail outside Minersville, Utah. There was so much to explore, and the trail just kept climbing higher, right to the very top of a mountain called Jack's Peak. We just stood for a while, taking in the whole world below. On the way back to camp, my son turned to me and said, I love you, Dad. Then suddenly it hit me. This wasn't just another camping trip. Paris RV is blowing out all remaining 2019 inventory right now. Get the 2019 Viking 10 trailer, 1706 XLS, at only $81.72 or $99 a month, zero dough. Or the 2019 Mesa Ridge 26BH bunkhouse at only $17,684 or $180 a month, zero dough. Or get the 2019 Puma 286 RBSS fifth wheel at $28,688 or $248 a month, zero dough. If you want a super low price, you come see me at Paris RV. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We're at the Mountain Man Rendezvous here in Ridgefield. 
And we're standing here with Sarah, and you have a frying pan in your hand. Yes, this is a game that we play here at the Rendezvous. It's called Frying Pan Toss. Us ladies play it, men aren't included in our version of it, <laughs> and you guys get to do it. Okay, um, so what we do is we have our husbands in this circle, right? Oh. And uh, the, the, the object is to just toss it, and if it and lands... Get it in the flower circle. Okay, get it in the circle. All right, you go. You can't move. Okay. Woo! Woo! Hey, that is. You know, this is really hard to get it in the circle from what I hear from these pioneer women. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, that was awesome. Your turn. First time. All right. All right. Are you ready? I can't. I promise where this is going to go. So. You guys, I give you permission to move out of the circle. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, oh. <laughs> I should be a mountain woman. I, I scored with the axe and the frying pan. All right, right now we're going to go take a look at our sticker winner. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Facebook by Scott Locke, and he is the lucky winner of a two-night stay and a half-day UTV rental at the magnificent Lizzie and Charlie's RV Park down in Marysvale, Utah. What a fun place to go. Congratulations, Scott. Now, be sure to call us at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. And don't forget, if you are displaying an Eagles Landing AYL Special Edition sticker, you will get an extra $100 gas and gift card good at Eagles Landing, any of them. They're the place where you get that Clear 91 non-ethanol fuel. Bartender, like nut around all the way around. All right. Yeah, and yeah, you can fill it, because I'm not driving. Right now, we're going to take a look at next week's show. Next week, we're off on a Daniel Summit summer excursion as we join the folks from UTV Utah, along with Carl Malone, for a fun-filled ride in the mountains. Then, we're off to learn about some of the history of the mining towns of Rainbow and Watson. Where are they? Well, we'll find out as we ride the Outlaw ATV Jamboree Trails. Finally, we're following the Stedman clan as they take us out for a fun-filled day of dirt bike races at the 2019 Sage Riders Desert Race. Next week's show looks like it's going to be great. Can we come? Yes, well, of course you, you can. can come see our next show because you're going to be in it. <laughs> we have had so much fun down here at the Mountain Man Rendezvous. great. Kevin, what did you? What was your big oh, learning man. of the day? This is this is awesome. Just to see what they did uh, 200 years ago and how they lived. Yeah, makes you me glad I'm alive today. Well, there you go. Aren't we all been, grateful for it? I would have been dead then. So sure. Mountain Man Rendezvous, they go on all over the West. There are a whole bunch of them, and some of these guys show up at all of them, right? I sit on the National Executive Council. Yep. See, they're there they're an organized bunch of mountain men. Wow. So uh, you can check it out. Do you have a place they can go? A website or anything like just that? Just go right on any, just rendezvous.com. There you go, rendezvous.com. You can find out when one is near you. Go to it, and as we always say, there's adventure around every bend. Just gotta get out there and create your own rendezvous. <laughs> At, At your, your leisure. leisure. Sing. King. <laughs> First one's really long. One. Oh no, it is. Go ahead. <laughs> oh.